Hey, this is John with Fathercraft. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY floor stand for your baby monitor. So grab some goggles, put them on, grab your drill, and let's get to it. So we've been asked quite a bit about a, a DIY baby monitor stand that I've displayed in several videos in the past. But basically a floor stand is a movable stand that you place your baby monitor onto. Pretty straightforward. And the reason you might want a floor stand is if uh, one, like me, you don't like drilling holes in your wall, or two, you tend to move stuff around your baby's room quite often, uh, meaning that you don't want to permanently mount a monitor to a wall in case you do move stuff around. I chose a tablet stand that I bought on Amazon for about 60 bucks, I think. There will be links in the description below to all of these items if you want to go ahead and purchase them. So you want the stand and then you're going to have the mounting unit, I'll call it, that will you'll attach to the top of the stand. For the mounting unit, you're going to want a wood block. Just a standard one by four, one by three. So with the block, you want preferably nuts and bolts to mount the, the bracket or the brace. You want some screws for the wall mount plate that we're just gonna go on the wood block. Uh, crescent wrench, I don't know, maybe you know, ratchet if you need it. Screwdriver drill bits, your drill that somebody threw at me earlier. What else? Oh, um, I use the zip ties to tie or to secure the cord to the stand itself. And obviously your monitor. Um, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use the Miku simply for the reason I can't find the Nanit wall plate. It's been years since it's been mounted to the wall. Uh, and I don't know where it is. Any monitor that you get that either has a wall mount plate or simply just little screw holes on the back of it like like this the summer infant that we recently reviewed has a little hole for a screw and the Yuffie likewise has a little hole for the screw so let's get into assembling the mount shall we I've already drilled some pilot holes in this wood block you want to leave enough space on the block for the bracket and then bolts. Um, so make sure just place everything on your block first. Make sure you're leaving yourself enough room for all the items and hardware that's going to go on the wood block. So you want to make sure you have enough room for the bolts and the nuts and the bracket will go on the back of this block. Mount the wall plate to my block of wood here. I need to run a lot of batteries. Nice. All right, and then I've already done it. You want to drill two other holes for the bolts. So, take your bolts, stick them through like so. Flip over your plate, you attach your bracket on just to make sure it fits. Now, you don't want to tighten it yet because you need to still affix it to the stand. It's really that simple. So I'm just going to unscrew this. Okay, I'm going to bend this up just for show sake. So then take your mount, take your bracket, like so. Uh, just make sure that it's, it's got to be super tight on to the stand. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere, doesn't slide down. It's gotta be really flush and tied up, up against the stand. Now all that's left to do for this part, put your nuts on. That is also what she said, maybe. Use your old school crescent wrench. And put some elbow grease behind it. I just realized I haven't had my goggles on the whole time. You're gonna want your goggles on the entire time, just, just to be safe. There. Now you've got your mount attached. And of course I have mine upside down. Ah, this is a typical project for me. There's about 17 times where I do something backwards or in the wrong order. I usually have to do it in another room, maybe upstairs with the kids outside, because I will drop 
some foul language. And it's just known in the house. And I, you know, I'm not usually a calm guy. Uh, don't get too worked up about a lot. And, but when it comes to stuff like this sometimes, I just, it drives me crazy. All right. So a good tip there, make sure that your mount is facing the right way. And there you have it. Your mount is attached to your stand. Can you all see that? Can you all see this? Great. All right. So what you do then is take your mount, your camera, put it on the mount. Boom. The last thing you obviously want to do is plug it in. If you want to be super fancy, you can drill, drill a hole big enough back here for the cord to fit through. I don't want to be that fancy. I'm just going to slip it up behind the brace here. And then obviously secure the cord to your stand. So probably one every four or five inches or so. Do that all the way down. I'm not gonna do it all the way down, you get the idea. And by golly, you've done it. You made yourself your own little DIY stand for your baby monitor. That's it really. I hope you enjoyed it. Now let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of the steps or tools or installation process. I'd be happy to answer those questions. Hey, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, we really love it when we see people subscribe and we think you're going to love our channel. All right, people. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.